So hey guys, my name's Cody Johnson. I'm the owner operator of Easy Lawn and Landscape LLC uh, in Concord, Virginia. Uh, I'm Central Virginia-ish, uh, a couple hours from the state capital. Um, I have been in the lawn care business now going on my fourth year. My first three years were part-time. Um, I worked as a delivery driver for Pepsi and a local Budweiser distributor during that time. and. This year, uh, with the amount of work I had, I felt like uh, God was calling me to go at this full time. So here I am getting ready to start my 2018 season. I actually have kind of already started it, but not full blast. Um, you know, I've, I chose to create a YouTube channel and start making a few videos because, you know, in my growing my business and starting off, I found a lot of value in um, a lot of the content that was featured by some of these YouTubers, um, you know, equipment reviews, uh, just a glimpse into day and day, day to day operations and, you know, how they do things and advice. And, you know, it's a lot of great content out there for people just starting off. And, you know, I don't know if I will be of help to somebody along the road, but, you know, I'm going to put my stuff out there and see where it goes and see what happens. Um, you know, like I said in my bio, it, at the very least, you might find me entertaining. Um, so for my first video, I thought I'd do something a little simple and just show y'all my 2018 setup. So uh, let me walk back around to my truck here, to my trailer. So this is where I'm at. It's a little small get up here. Um, simple, effective. Um, I picked this mower up in last June, uh, thanks to a couple hefty uh, clients that I got off a buddy of mine that was getting out of the business. Um, Kubota 725, got a 60 inch deck, 25 horsepower motor. Um, it cuts like a champ, stripes like a champ, and it does a great job. Um, got 200 hours on it and a whole lot of life left in it. Um, also new this year with the setup is equipment defender racks. Um, I've done a lot of reviewing. i uh, watched a lot of YouTube videos on these racks before I pulled the trigger on them. Uh, guys, they're not a cheap investment, um, but it's a a worthy investment uh, you know so start off I got uh, you know the tool, open trailer tool rack um, last year I had a, a PVC pipe painted Kubota orange that had all my hand tools in it and you know in an effort uh, in an effort to uh, look a little more professional this year being full-time I figured something like that uh, would make all the difference in the presence of my trailer and, and my equipment and uh, you know equipment defender blower rack and my well-worn but trusty Echo 770 blower. Um, I got this blower new when I started uh, four years ago. And it looks like crap, but it still cranks up on the second pull and gets the job done. Uh, moving on around, I got into spraying herbicides this year. Uh, in Virginia, we have to have a uh, pesticide license to do that. And um, even just as simple as spraying Roundup in mulch beds. So I went and took my tests and got my certification. And I think that having that uh, pesticide and herbicide license will lead to um, a different revenue stream in my business. Um, you know, I think that uh, next year I'm probably gonna. This year I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a lot, and I've got a few mentors that I'm kind of leaning on. Um, I'm going to try to learn as much as I can about, you know, liquid herbicides and fertilization and, and hopefully be able to set my customers up with a, a lawn fertilization program to offer them um, and just make a little make a little extra money. Um, but, I, you know, I had a little handheld sprayer I was spraying with last year illegally, uh, just some Roundup. And I was walking through a Harbor Freight Tools the other day and I seen this backpack sprayer there for 20 bucks. I picked it up. Um, you know, it's not the nicest thing, but it works. And I figured for a $20 backpack sprayer, if it lasts me one season, I got my $20 worth out of it. Um, moving on to my trimmer racks. I got a three position trimmer rack. Now I know I only have one unit on it right now. Um, I actually just sold an echo trimmer I had, I've had for quite a while now, uh, today, but I picked this steel FS 111 up last year. Um, trying some steel products out because up until now I've had all echo um, 
and I'm really pleased with that weed eater. I really like it, and I like steel products. Um, but I'm slowly making the switch back to Echo uh, because of my, my Kubota dealer and how good they've been to me, and they started uh, carrying Echo products. So I kind of want to keep my business in, in their house um, because good relationships like that, especially with your dealer, can lead to you know better deals down the road and help. Uh, so... I like to stay faithful one place, so uh, I'm actually going to pick up an edger on a 20% off Echo sale that they're running in a couple weeks and another weed eater. So that rack will be filled up uh, here in a couple weeks. So uh, for now, I'm on a, um, it's like a six and a half, seven foot wide by 10 trailer. Uh, trailer was in pretty rough shape going into this year. I, I sanded it all down. Uh, took a rattle can, hit it black, uh, repainted the wheels, and uh, put some new DOT stickers on it, just trying to make it look nice. And I think it turned out actually pretty great. So um, that's my actual mowing setup for this year. Um, I've got a couple other little items. I've got a, a core aerator and you know a couple little tools to get the job done. I'm like I said, I'm still small, but I'm growing. Um, and that's my, my, my tow pig. It sucks. It sucks. I hate that truck. But it's making me money right now, so I can't complain but so much. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, just a little short video. I'm not seasoned at this. I don't make a lot of videos. Uh, I hope to have a lot more content to come. Um, so if you get a laugh out of listening to me and watching me, and even if you think my beard's funny, just, you know, shoot me a comment just give me if you like the video give me a little love i'll try to uh do some more videos here and there and you know see what people want and what people like to watch and we'll go from there but anyway it's a beautiful day here in virginia and it's almost dark so i'm gonna head in and eat some supper thanks y'all